I will show how to capture data that repeats on a document. This data is often referred to as a repeating group. I will create a new skill called EOBRG, which stands for Explanation of Benefits Repeating Group. I will upload a document. Once uploaded, I'll take a look at the document. Here we can see falsified patient information that repeats. Next, I will click on the Activity Editor, and I'll click on Fields, then Manage Fields. I'll create a field to collect the EOB date and select the Date data type, and another field to collect the Provider number. Then I'll create a Repeating Group field. And inside of this, I will place three fields for name, HIC, and patient responsibility. I'll click Save, ensuring there are no naming errors. Then I will return to Manage Fields and click checkboxes that mean use these fields in this activity. Then I will temporarily disable these fields while I build out some form logic. I'll click on search elements and see that the fields I just defined were turned into advanced designer search elements. I will configure the date field to locate the proper date format and drill down and show how month, day, and year can be individually tuned. Before testing, I'll disable search elements that have not been configured yet. I'll click Match, which displays a hypothesis tree. And the date has been located. Next, I will configure the Provider Number Character String element. Here, I want to use a regular expression consisting of a number that repeats from 6 to 10 times. Also, I want this number that is closest to the date. So I'll click on Draw on Image, click on the date, and select Nearest to. I will also configure the search area to look above the date. You can see the search area in yellow. Once again, I will press Match and can confirm that I correctly found both the date and provider number. Now I will enable my repeating group element. I want to use key value elements in the repeating group, but I was automatically given character string elements, so I will delete the old elements to start. I'll create a new key value element called name. The search string will also be name. I will look to the right of my key value for any text. These are default settings. I want to find a name instance that's nearest to my date field, so I'll configure that. I'll press Match and check my results in the Hypothesis tree. To do this, I'll hit the Backspace key twice to go to the top level of the tree. Then I will click on the green dots to confirm I'm capturing the correct data. First, I'm capturing Stand Up then fade away, and so on as I press the down arrow or I can use my mouse to click. The very last repeating group element is blank, and that's not a problem. I will copy this name element and paste it. I can save time because the cloned element has settings that I want to retain. I'll rename this new element HIC and use that as my search term. Note that we are still looking for a value that's nearest to the date field. I will press Match and once again check my results using the Hypothesis tree. The first instance in the repeating group is captured correctly, except the HIC is not 
capturing the data as I intended. And that's because I was looking for a gap. If I turn off that check for gap between key and value and rematch, we'll see what our results look like. And this time we see stand up as HIC value correctly captured, fade away, same thing, D end, all the HIC values are being correctly captured. Once again, I will copy and paste an element, renaming this element PTRESP. I'll add the correct search text and keep all the other settings. I will press match and check my results again in the hypothesis tree. The first instance of the repeating group was found correctly. I can press the down arrow and check the second instance, also captured correctly, and so forth. All the targeted data has been located within the repeating group. Next, I will click on the Fields tab and click on Manage Fields and enable all of these fields. And I'll check that they are properly mapped by looking at the Fields tab and selecting the Source field. For the name field, I'll map that to name, as well as HIC and patient responsibility. Now that those are mapped, they will export properly, and now I can publish my skill for further use in Vantage.